Hello everyone, my name is Jay Mack and the show is called Inside Fine Art and we're on that channel.com. This evening I have two very creative guests, they're both artists. Their names are William Ho and Stephen Hall. I'd like to start with my first guest. His name is William Ho. He is a painter, a sculptor, a writer, an instructor, and a goodwill ambassador. His artwork appears in museums, galleries, and public arenas around the world. Welcome to the show, William. Thank you for the invitation, Jay. Well, it's so nice to have you. And perhaps we could uh, start with uh, a little bit about where you're from and uh, your background as far as your education uh, okay. is concerned. Sure. Now, actually, I was actually born in China and I was uh, brought to Hong Kong when I was one. I came to uh, Canada about 33 years ago. I was studying at the um, University of Waterloo on uh, fire arts. Um, city planning, and then, and then political philosophy and international politics. Well, those doesn't look like they are blending very nicely at that time, but when I look back now, they all work very well. I think this is state of art on that combination too now. And did you, did you study painting then, or fine arts along yes. the way? Uh, when, no, when actually, did this I, I studied, um, art is always in my life. Mm -hmm. um, I start my first painting, well, my first drawing in about four or five years old. And then I went into uh, oil painting. But when I, when I was about 10 years old, um, I uh, encountered a Chinese brush painting. And from then on, I, I fell in love with that. So up to now, I'm still doing a lot of Chinese brush painting. At the same time, I do other uh, art with other media, particularly with uh, glass work, mm -hmm. with um, uh, casting the, uh, the glass. Uh, lamb work and, uh, and a combination of all different. Oh, I see. So you d it is a combination it's because a combination. Uh, well, well, we'll take a look at your work sure. and you can tell me uh, which part is okay. cast and which part is the lamp work okay. that you're working with and things okay. like that. So uh, we'll look at the first image that we have here, and um, it's up on the screen now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now this is uh, called Harmony and Hope. Yes, and it's from the uh, at the AG on, uh, Art Gallery of Ontario. Yes. Perhaps you could tell me a little bit okay. about this show. Now, this is a special uh, display of my art. The painting is was big. It was about almost like forty feet long. Wow! And uh, there was mm -hmm. uh, right now they they put it outdoor, and uh, that was a few years ago. And uh, the painting was talking about the grapes using Chinese brush painting, very traditional way of expressing the Chinese art on grapes. And then the grapes, and uh, they talk about how do we harmonize ourselves with nature and ourselves. And I think the message is we need to harmonize starting from ourselves and also harmonize with other people and harmonize with nature. I think it's also harmonize with the creator himself too. So um, that's why I'm, uh, I see that if we have harmony, we will have a lot of hope for the future. I see. Yes, and now how many uh, pieces did you have in this uh, show? This is a, this only one piece. Because one that piece, is, that this, is a, this huge is, piece. It's, it's oh, a big it's piece, a about 40 feet piece. long. Exactly. I didn't know whether <laughs> it was, um, you know, and actually a piece of artwork or somebody took it and blew it up. It's, it's amazingly it's large. Yeah. Uh -huh. And what was the material you used in this that one? That one was uh, Chinese, um, uh, Chinese uh, ink and Chinese paint. Oh, really? Yes. yes. And uh, what did you put some something on it to protect it? Or yes, uh, they they have something to uh, special coating to protect it. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay, well we'll go on to the next image, and okay. um, this is called Hope in the Mist. Yes, and yeah. uh, this is one of your uh, paintings, paintings as yes. well. Yeah. Uh, could you tell us something? Sure. About now that? this one is uh, is using a very special technique called splash paint. I basically splash the pink and the ink on a piece of paper <laughs> and let it dialogue with nature. And then I can see whether that will become um, a mountain or landscape or it can be the flower of different uh, uh, subject matters. But I let the nature take its course. So when you can see that, uh, you can see the mountain, you can see the, the, um, the, the mist, you can see some waterfall. Now the, uh, the, um, uh, the tangible part is more, it's not easy. 
mm-hmm. uh, to be expressed, but the intangible part is actually more more difficult to express. What we call the space of imagination. In Chinese art, we ask you to see uh, more than what you look at, mm-hmm. and also to feel beyond what you see. Less is more, and then mm-hmm. we want you to feel the special space of imagination. Mm-hmm. And uh, your 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 titles are very inspirational. Is um, this part of the Chinese philosophy mm-hmm. in painting? Yes. Or because North Americans are not necessarily, uh, they um, don't have this attitude necessarily. Yes, I think because uh, in, the, in our life there are a lot of myths. Because when we are going through our journey of life, a lot of time there are a lot of uns- uncertainties there. Mm-hmm. And uh, because of the uncertainty, we almost see them as myths in, uh, in the surrounding. And uh, we, we, we want to see. Even in the mis situation, we can still see the hope I see. in the difficulties. Mm-hmm. And we want to see the best from the worst. We see hope in even in disasters, and that is what we need. It's a more positive, and that's uh, that's on that probably mo- my own feelings to the world. Yeah. Oh, I see. That's beautiful. Well, we'll go on to the next piece, mm-hmm. and uh, this is um, this is called the light of hope. Now you can probably it's the same technique using uh, splash pink and ink, mm-hmm. and uh, the bottom part you can see a lot of dark ink there, representing the difficulties. This painting I was di- I, I was I was doing that for the stu- uh, the children with AIDS, particularly oh. in China, Africa, mm-hmm. India, even in Canada, and sometimes they have been considered burdens to the society, but they were actually haven't done anything wrong. Some of them actually was born with uh, with uh, with uh, with AIDS yes. uh, from their from the parents, and life it can be very difficult for them, and, uh, and but I want to let them know that it can be like a like a walk and mountain on their shoulders. Mm-hmm. But I want them to see that light shining through, and I think that we want to let them know that it's light of hope. Oh, that's wonderful. Now I have another question. Yes, there are seals yes. and a signature. Exactly. Is there? A, a specific Special. place yes. to put them? Now, um, there are certain traditions uh, where to put what, but there are at least two different types of silk, a uh, chop. One is the identity chop, which we have my first name, or family name, or, or my uh, personal name. And also there's one called leisure stem, that you put down your state of mind, that when you did the painting, what was the state of mind? Were you very, very... A, a lot of anxiety, or a lot of anticipation, or, or you want the people to feel joy. Then we put a stamp. Sometimes we make the stamp, we engrave the stamp while that spawn, uh, the pond, and then they put it on. Oh, I see. Oh, so yeah. you create the oh, stamp yeah. for the piece. Sometimes we in, do that. In certain cases. Yeah, so the stamp itself is a state of art by itself. Oh, I see. And the where you put that is the, is the balance. It's the balance on how, where do you put what, or not to put what. And that is the key. I see. Now the balance is it? Yeah, I, I'm looking at it and saying, is it a, a visual balance mm. now or it's, it's something else? Now there are this couple level. There's a visual balance on the art mm-hmm. where you put, but it's also a poetic sense that when you put it in, then there's we see painting almost like a poetry. Then you can visualize it. You can uh, you can also have it in your mind to understand. Or try to communicate something, not doesn't doesn't mean that to be reason, but feelings of the artist himself. So it's a it's a it's a it's a dialogue between you and the audience, not only visually, but also poetically. Oh, and I that see. is the key for Chinese art. Oh yes. Well, we'll look at another piece, <laughs> <laughs> and this is a very important piece for yeah. you. Yes, right now this one is called the One Heartbeat. I finished this painting in one single stroke. Of course, it took about 40 years to practice first. Right now, this painting is talking about the heartbeat. I mean, you can probably see that it's like a, a heartbeat. And uh, it's talking about your heartbeat, my heartbeat, the heartbeat of the whole humanity. Right now, because we share the same heartbeat with the rest of the world as a global family. That's why if a child suffer in China or Haiti, we all suffer. If a child get hurt in India or Japan, we all get hurt. If a child dies in America or in or Africa, part of us die too. Because we share the same heartbeat, we have to help one another. Now, when I was in the, at the United Nations, 
uh, this uh, when I was invited to have my show exhibition at the UN headquarters in New York, mm -hmm. this is one of the pieces that I saw, I, 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 I exhibited. And the United Nations family like it so much that they want me to use the message and this painting in different parts of the world. Now this painting, the first number one limited print is, hand, is right now installed at the UN headquarters in New York. I, see. I, I still keep the original. Mm -hmm. okay? And different cities of the world, like town of Richmond Hill in Canada, has become the one happy cities. And UN is the one happy global partners. And um, the idea is we were sharing this painting with the rest of the world with the message so that we can talk about the one heartbeat movement around the world. So you might see actually uh, in the future um, the one heartbeat t-shirt. Oh, yes. You yes. might see that uh, one day maybe 10,000 people wearing oh. the one heartbeat t-shirt marching for noble causes, I for see. humanitarian grounds or for the protection of environment because we all share the same one heartbeat. Mm -hmm. That's why we, ha we all have to, um, uh, to put our hands on our chest. It's an invitation. If you still feel your heartbeat, my friend, that means you're still alive. Mm -hmm. That means you have the obligation and responsibility to help the rest of the world, to help your brothers and sisters in Haiti or in uh, Canada. So um, this is the invitation, of course. If you have no heartbeat, I cannot ask for more. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a privilege that is a journey from the heart to the world. Oh, that's wonderful. All right. Well, we'll go to the next image, okay. which is your uh, the book that yes, you have right. here, and you brought the book in today. Sure. Now, this is the book that um, um, is about the One Heartbeat movement, around, um, one heartbeat around the world movement. And you can see that I was doing a lot of book signing in different parts of the world. Oh, yes. Um, the book is called A Journey from the Heart to the World. Basically, I wa this is... Um, uh, the UN like the message so much and the arts so much that they want the rest of the world to uh, to um, to enjoy it, and um, and uh, my message is very simple. We have to give the best to the world, and the best is not how much we can get from the world, but how much we can offer from our heart. And um, I I want to give the same uh, invitation to the world that. Um, we can work together and make the world a better place. Oh, well, that's wonderful. And yes. uh, you have several images that you've uh, that are in this book. And did you do the writing as well? Yes, the, those uh, writings are actually part of my speeches. Mm -hmm. And I deliver my speech at the United Nations, talk about what art, beauty, and love and hope, and how do we cherish our lives wow. and, the, and the lives of others. Yes, and it's you, there are a lot of people here. And unfortunately, I couldn't show them, but there, there was one image that you sent me with Laura Bush. Oh yes, we have. Uh, where, where with she Laura was, Bush, uh, yes, yes and so she has one of your. Uh, yes, books. yes. They, she, I think she, um, she's humanitarian herself, and uh, she like art. I'm sure that she like my art, and uh, that's why we have some dialogue. We oh, some wonderful! Dialogue. We, 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 we work together if the situation are now and uh, when the oh, when the situation that I can see fit, then we can work together. I see. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, let's go on to the next image, ah. and. Um, Oh, this yes. is an award that yes. you've uh, created. Yes. Uh, the United Nations, because they love the message and my, and my art so much, that they, they asked me, the, family, the United Nations family asked me to create an award that uh, will, um, will uh, deliver the message. The message is the One Happy Message. That's why this one is called the One Happy Award. And um, sometimes they give it to humanitarian like uh, Desmond Tutu. Uh, he just received that, I think, two years ago. And then the, the UN also gave it to uh, um, some other heads of state. And uh, whoever they have contribution to the world, to make the world a better place, um, I, will, I will create one for them. Now, they, they, they look at it very seriously because this is not an award that can cast. Every time you can cast an like Oscar, uh, every time of uh, 50 pieces. This one is an award that is one of a kind. Because to me, life is the most beautiful masterpieces of art we can ever uh, embrace. So I see art is not alive, cannot be repeated, cannot be replaced. So every time I create a piece of art, this is the award. So they look at them not only as an award, but it's a piece of art. So that's why everyone's are paying so, um, they take it so serious on, on this. Yes, no, uh, but they give this award uh, at other times, do at they? Um, yes. Um, so each time you create a new piece? Each time I create a new piece. 
Wow. Okay. Everyone is unique. As you and me, is, we are one of a kind and unique. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. Fantastic. And uh, there were some other people in that. Can we show that image again? There were some other people in there, and you could tell me perhaps who okay. they are. Okay. Now, um, the um, of course, the right, the top right hand right hand corner was uh, me and uh, Ban Kim Moon himself. Now, and that, let me tell uh, the Secretary General of the United Nations. Uh, he loved the prototype. That was a prototype he was holding. He said, "Mr. Ho, uh, William is so beautiful. Can I have it now?" And I said. No, <laughs> you know. Of course, his chief of staff said, "Mr. Ho, did you really say no to the Secretary General of the whole world?" Not, not too many of us said no to him. But I said, "No, because you deserve the best, uh, Mr. Bang, and uh, UN and the whole world deserve the best. And I cannot compromise my standard of my art. So you have to wait." Now he's a, he's a beautiful human being. He understood that. He said, "William, I wait, wait. Give me the best. Give the world the best." <laughs> So three months down the road, when you go there, look at the bottom uh, photo, uh, yes. the president of the General Assembly of that year uh, held a uh, press conference at the United Nations headquarters, the press conference center, just like what we are doing now, mm-hmm. and they said announcing William Ho's my art piece will become the art piece for the UN occasions on those situations. Now the way the left way uh, con- uh, corner was when I was sharing my art. And my message with the uh, Nobel Prize people, my f- some of friends, mm-hmm. the, the 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 peace laureates in Geneva, and uh, when I finished sharing, they said, "Mr. Ho, bring your award." I said, "Why?" They said, "Come, come." And I, when I bought it there, you saw the you saw the rim, the rainbow. This yes. is a real rainbow. Yes. Uh-huh. The whole Geneva was covered by the rainbow, and I, they said, "Take a photo." I said, "Okay." Then they took a photo, and they said, I "Don't like the photos bending from my award." I said, "I need to keep that one for the for my book." And uh, that is a different, diff- and I was speaking at the United Nations on different occasion, and there the small, small sculpture there is a, well, it's not a small one, it's a 40 feet long metal sculpture. Yes, that was, uh, it's really difficult, I think, to see <laughs> it there, but and I was, <laughs> it's, it's I was wondering where, you know, where it was, and I was asking you yes, earlier. Right, yes, right. Well, I think we should go on now yes. to um, another image. Okay. And... Um, this is the this is the real award. This yeah. is this is one happy the, award. Yes, this is the heartbeat award. Yep. and uh, it's it's made from glass. Yes, it take about usually about thirteen hundred degree and depends on the type of glass uh, material, and uh, you only have three seconds to create the move. Mm-hmm. Three seconds, and then it will fa- it will it will fix. So if you do not do the right way, you have to start over again. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I can't imagine doing it myself. <laughs> it's a state department. It's, it's, <laughs> it, it, I know. It, it, it'd be very, uh, I'm sure it's very difficult. We'll look at the next image. Yes. And this is another piece of your uh, yeah. work. Yeah. It's, uh, it's also this. Maybe and it's the celebration of life. Yes. Yeah, celebration of life is like always ele- elevating, pointing upward. Yeah. Yes, and and you do um, casting and flame work. Is that it? Yes. Uh, there are three types of glass work, at least uh, the casting. Uh, 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 glass blowing and also uh, lamp work. Mm-hmm. And this sometimes it can be a combination of three, or sometimes it can be one of one type of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, we'll go. We I think we have uh, oh. we have one more image here. Sure. Now this is an award that I create for the um, uh, another um, United Nations family uh, member uh, organization. It's called it's a renewable energy session that um, talk about renewable energy. And you can see the different color there and representing different type of energy source like uh, solar energy, mm-hmm. wind power or bio, bio uh, uh, fuels and also um, different type of one. And then I'm trying to tell people that we can mix them, we can merge them together so that we can do, uh, we can create clean energy so that our world will not be polluted. Otherwise, uh, we are killing ourselves, and that is not good. Oh, yes. That, mm-hmm. that and I noticed you had a maquette mm-hmm. on, y- on your website as well, and I like the maquette. It was a little bit different. Oh, yes, right. Uh-huh. Yes. But, uh, Everyone is unique. Right? Mm-hmm. So, yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's w- it was wonderful. Okay, well, I think we should move on to the yes. next image. Okay. And um, uh, this is a very interesting piece because it's basically it's a triplet. And there's a few pieces together, and uh, we talk about this one. They call eternity and uh, and the history. Talking about uh, it's from no beginning to top to no beginning uh, to no ending to the bottom, and 
horizontally, you can see a perspective of human history, and you can see the uh, fingerprints of the nature and the creator, and also fingerprints of human beings. So you can see the like um, uh, the uh, Great Wall of Chinese, and some of other big buildings from uh, from uh, in uh, in Greek, and some buildings in France and Egypt. Those are human fingerprints. But you can also see the waterfall of the Niagara Fall. And you, you will see, if you look at it carefully, you will see about 35 to 40 different symbols, like, uh, like E equal to M, uh, CM, CM square, and uh, like the famous uh, uh, theory from Einstein. So there are a lot of different symbols there. I leave it to your space of imagination when you go over to take a look at it. Oh, but you can come to the one gallery to look at them. Oh, in, it, uh, it, in, this, in is, this is at the Main one Street. gallery, at your gallery. Yeah, in Main so Street Unionville. And you, Main Street Unionville. And this is quite a large piece. This is a large piece, about uh, 14 feet long. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it, it's yes. very big. Well, maybe we should go on yeah. to the next piece. Now, this is a much more traditional Chinese mm -hmm. glass painting. You can see about five da 500 flowers there. Each flower, you take a few, you feel one, two seconds to finish it. So um, there are lots of, uh, this art has about 2,500 years history. And then we are expressing that in, uh, in a very simple way. Uh, in Chinese art, is uh, less is more. Yes. That is the, what the, um, the modern society need to learn. We don't want to always drive a grow, grow, grow in the wrong way. Now you, yes, now you teach. Yes. Chinese I, art, do yes, you? I, I teach at the Royal Ontario Museum. Yes. I teach at the Museum of Civilization uh, some time ago and in Ottawa. I teach in different parts of the world. And uh, I also teach at my, uh, muse uh, my uh, gallery in uh, uh, Main Street, Unionville. Yes. Yes. You, oh, you have classes there. Yes, I have now classes. Now, how, how long are your classes? Well, if the classes uh, are usually about one and a half hours uh, mm -hmm. each, but uh, it is ongoing. You can learn, some of my students have been with me 10, 15 years. Oh, I see. And the mm -hmm. students are ranging from 7 years old to uh, 93 years old. Uh, 93 years old, she has been learning painting 60 years before she come to uh, learn under me. So we are, you're all well within that range. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so anybody can, if they yes. want to, they can go to your website go to my and website. contact you and yeah. uh, to take your classes. Now you can go to my website, www oneheartbeat.ca or www.theonegallery.ca uh, you can get my contact there. okay well yes. I'm it's amazing well we'll go and we'll look at one more uh, okay now here. this one is called light of hope number uh, three mm -hmm. and uh, this one is talk about similar to the first one the light of hope you can see the splash pink and ink on on on, on the top and uh, this, the light is all actually from almost like strife food from the heaven to earth, touch the heart of the mm. suffering children of the world. Now, this is uh, one painting, but when you look at it on the horizontal way, this is the same painting, this becomes another painting called Creation. Oh, really? You can actually see the stardust on the left-hand side and the galaxy and the, and the, um, the, um, the whole universe there. And then when they move on the right hand side, you can see the valley and the mountains, they, form, they formalize that. Mm -hmm. So you can see the creation of the world. So my point is, we can see art and our life in different perspectives, and we will see something very, very interesting meanings and feelings at the same time. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, we'll go on to another uh, yes, right. piece, and uh, this is... This is a newer piece, is it? Yeah. Now this is a special piece that, that I use uh, splash paint and ink techniques too. You can see the, some of the mountains there. At the same time, you can also see something beyond the mountains. Behind or above, you can see a rainbow. I finished the rainbow in one single stroke. Of course, it takes some time to practice because there are seven colors there. But at the same time, we also see um, a mat I would say I mean, um, a magic physical feelings of who you are. I leave that part to you to feel it, because I think my last job, the least I want to do is to dictate mm -hmm. how you see, but I can suggest how which direction you can go. But I leave it to the audience because you all of you are one of a kind. I see. Yes. Wow. All right. We'll look at the next one. Now this one is called dialogue. It's a dialogue between different, different galaxies. 
different human mind. And I use the same uh, a very specific technique called uh, it's, it's a special type of splash ping and ink. And then I let it move forward and backward and let it express itself to manifest the dialogue between different um, physical and metaphysical world. And the tangible intangible is almost between um, the, um, the uh, uh, um, abstract and realism. Yes. Look, yes, a mm -hmm. lot of different mm -hmm. things there. I want to leave it to the art, the uh, audience, to become the artist. To I feel see. the journey. Now, how, how, what's the size of this? And this one is about uh, four feet by uh, two and a half feet. Mm -hmm. When you come to the gallery, that this particular piece is right now in the gallery, in the one gallery in uh, Main Street Unionville. I see. And, and, and is this on rice paper? This is on rice paper. Uh, Chinese ink and Chinese paints on rice paper. I have a whole series of this particular uh, 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 subject matter is the, um, the galaxy and the dialogue. Yeah, I see. Well, we'll, we'll look at one more. <laughs> now, this one has a special story. Uh, this one is uh, called Light of, Light of the World. And when I created that painting, I was actually intent to uh, create a landscape. And then when I finished the painting, my daughter, she actually happened to be here today, that she passed by and said, Daddy, did you did he actually created the goal, the map of the world? Then I realized that I actually created the world. You did? Yes. yes. It looked like that's that. a, well, that's, I thought it was intentional. It exactly, wasn't. but that was a, a, a little bit distorted world uh -huh. because the world is distorted, distressed it because too many people suffer, too many people die with no reasons. Yes. So I was trying to tell people that even the world is suffering, there's still lights of hope shining from the bottom, from the top of the world, from the Creator to let us know that we still have hope. If we put our love into actions now, the world will still have hope. Uh, that part is, uh, is the passion in my heart mm -hmm. that, uh, that we, we, all, we all have to share the same one heartbeat as a global family. Remember, you and me, we are one of a kind. And we are the most beautiful masterpiece of art, you know, in this world we can ever embrace. So I see art as life, and life as art. Yes. Well, now you have uh, some some things coming up. Can yes, you right. tell me uh, what's uh, okay. what you're doing next? Now we are having the. Um, uh, I, I'm doing a lot of uh, occasionally. I'm doing a lot of painting on site in uh, Main Street Unionville because. Uh, in that area used to be a group of seven. Some friends were mm -hmm. living there and then they did paintings there. And, uh, but the tradition started to fade out. Actually, it's lost already. And there are many friends, uh, including many of the officials and uh, artists, lo art lovers, asked, Mr. Ho, can you go to, can you, can you do painting on site in your, in your gallery so that we can revive this tradition? I said, I, that's what I'm going to do. That's why they put it down. It's called Renaissance at one. That means I'm going to do occasionally um, painting on site so that people can actually come into the gallery to see uh, the journey of creation. I want you and me to become part of the journey that we can experience. And I always think that um, the, 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 the um, Toronto Star and other place, they put down uh, my arts called Art of Ways. And then the other thing they put down is myself become the art. And I, I believe that you and me are the most beautiful masterpieces of art. And I love to see that you and me will put the passion of art into our heart. And then the beautiful masterpieces in your space, in your room, in your house, in your mm -hmm. company. I think we can make the world a little bit better. Oh, place to be. yes, yes, for sure. Yeah. Now, uh, where can uh, people, you have several websites, could yes. you just tell me sure. what they are so people can uh, now, look them up? If you want to see more of my art in different parts of the world, please go to www.oneheartbeat, O-N-E-H-E-A-R-T-B-E-A-T.ca. And if you want to see my work, particularly in Canada, you can come to the, uh, um, the website, um, uh, the one gallery dot ca okay and uh, you, if you want to see some of my other work uh, i think those two places would be best place or if you want to see the real thing uh, come to the uh, the one gallery in the main street unionville 
139 Main Street Unionville in uh, in uh, uh, Highway 7 between Warden and uh, Kennedy. And I will have some other national and international art program using art and relief work to help the people, suffering people of the world. Um, and uh, later on this year, come uh, look at my website and then you'll be news see newspapers and TV and they will, and particularly the, 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 that TV, that <laughs> we, will, we, will, we will announce more about <laughs> what I'm doing for, for the world and uh, uh, for art and relief work. Oh, well, that's wonderful. And uh, we have to keep in touch yes, and watch definitely. and um, look at your websites. Yes. And uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. It was an honor having you. It's a, it's a privilege for me to come to you. And uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you.